Salamat pagi, which means good morning in Indonesia. Uh, I'm here in this, probably the most amazing beach I've ever been to, uh, which is called Pulabu Bunaken. Uh, it's in Sulawesi, Indonesia. Uh, and I thought I'd do a little video about a couple of things. Um, first of all, sand, because I'm standing on a beach. Uh, so where does sand come from? Sand, as you'll see here, uh, is all basically comes from coral. So this is coral. Now coral is a, uh, it's actually a living thing. It's an animal, it's not a plant. Uh, it's a marine invertebrate, so it doesn't have a backbone. Uh, and what it does is it kind of grows as like a jellyfish type creature through this skeleton that it makes. So coral, this, this is dead coral, this is the skeleton. Uh, and I'll show you what some real living coral looks like when I put in a little uh, clip of uh, scuba diving, which we did yesterday. Um, so what breaks down the coral? Well, first of all, it can get battered by storms and stuff like that to be ground down to make this lovely sand that we see here. Or uh, it can be eaten by parrotfish, which crunch up the coral with their beaks. And again, I'll try and put a little clip of that in. Uh, and then they actually poo it out. So all this beach is basically uh, parrotfish poo. Now the other thing I wanted to show you, which is kind of sad, is because even on this basically most deserted beach I've ever been to, uh, we had to take three planes, uh, one boat, and then about a half hour walk, 45 minute walk from where we're staying to get to this beach. Um, there is obviously pollution. Here's a little bit of sort of natural debris on the beach. This is driftwood. This is just a log that's washed up. Now this isn't a problem, because even though this lasts for 50 years, uh, or you know, 20 years, maybe even 50 years, it'll break down eventually. It's wood, it's biodegradable. But if we look along the beach, it looks like absolutely beautiful, but we start to see a little bit of another story. We start to see plastic up down here. Now it's kind of low tide at the moment, so if we walk up to where the water gets to its highest point, high tide mark, we can see that there is plastic plastic everywhere. Uh, we've got little cups, little, so that purple cup there, we've got these, these things are the worst. These are the little disposable drinks holders that someone's thrown away, little water. Uh, you can't use that twice, it's of absolutely no value. We've got plastic bottles here. We've got, a, I don't know what that is, it's some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of nail varnish remover, I think. We've got Sprite bottles, more plastic bottles, plastic, plastic, plastic. We've got leftover plastic ropes um, just littering the beach. And we've got a plastic chair up here, a shoe. Uh, who knows where that comes from, a flip-flop. So all this plastic, who knows how long it took to get here. It might have taken, uh, you know, 10 years to wash up. And even if only one bottle washes up, you know, every few days it builds up because this plastic lasts for something like 5,000 or sometimes even 10,000 years, depending on the type of plastic it's just not going to go anywhere unless anyone picks it up. But the number one thing that we have to do is just to stop um, using plastic bottles and just throwing them away without any regard to where they end up. Because they end up in places like this. Well, they end up in the sea, they end up in beaches. Things like turtles eat plastic bags. They think they're jellyfish. I'll show you a clip of um, Turtle City, hopefully, uh, which is where we did some scuba diving yesterday. Saw about 15 turtles. So they're in pretty good health here, but they're dying around the world because of eating plastic, there's an awful video of a turtle um, getting a plastic straw in its nose. I don't know if you've seen that, but um, watch it. It's pretty graphic, but do watch it. So the number one message is, instead of these plastic bottles, try and carry your own water bottle. Just fill it up from the tap. The tap water in the UK is clean, it's fresh. Uh, in Indonesia, there isn't any clean, fresh tap water. It's not drinkable, but um, instead of using small bottles like this, you can buy big uh, sort of 20, 30 liter tanks and then fill up water bottles so you only have to use one plastic bottle and that gets refilled uh, at the factory. So consider where your plastic goes, protect the marine environment because even in places like this which seem like the end of the world, there's plastic everywhere uh, because any plastic that you drop in the sea, uh, drop in the river in London, it washes down, down into the River Thames, out into the sea and who knows it could even end up here. Okay. So anyway, more uh, plastic videos coming soon. Protect the planet.